Did you know that London is digging a tunnel underneath the Thames to connect Silvertown and the Greenwich Peninsula on the eastern side? That's right, this twin bore tunnel is London's first in almost 30 years. When completed in 2025, it will improve public transportation connections, such as facilitating more cross-river bus trips and help alleviate the chronic congestion at the Blackwall Tunnel. But that's not all. There's much more to this project, and guess what? If you're curious to know everything about it, then stay with us to the end, as we're going to be taking a look at the different phases of the project, including the benefits of the project, how they are building it, and what they've done so far. After more than three decades, the City of London will finally get its first new road tunnel, and when it opens, it will be a 1.4 kilometer long twin bore tunnel beneath the River Thames. As a part of a larger plan to improve both sides of the river, the project plan calls for improvements to the areas around the tunnel entrances and the additions of walking and biking paths. Most of the time, slower traffic and closures of the Victorian era Blackwell Tunnel are caused by heavier vehicles that are not allowed to use the tunnel. Idling vehicles can cause a buildup of traffic, which often result in backups that stretch for many miles in only a few minutes. This makes it take longer to get somewhere, because cars will often take longer routes to avoid the tunnel. The Silvertown Tunnel project will not only do away with the chronic congestion that's been plaguing East London, but it will also cut travel times in half and ensure that vehicles can move through the area quickly and easily. The design and construction of the project are carried out by a joint venture consisting of Feveral Construction, Bam Nuttall, and SKENC. The value of the contract is more than £1 billion. The plan calls for a twin bore tunnel that is 1.4 kilometers in length to be constructed below the River Thames in addition to access ramps that are 0.6 kilometers in length. It will connect the area south of the River Thames with the entrance to the existing Blackwell Tunnel and the area north of the River Thames with the Tidal Basin Roundabout in Silvertown. This will make it easier for cars to get through this important part of London. By the year 2036, it is expected that the area around the new Silvertown Tunnel will have gained about 286,000 new jobs and 650,000 new people. This new construction will function as an alternative to the Blackwall Tunnel improving traffic flows not just beneath the River Thames, but also in the approaches between Docklands, East London, and Southeast London. This will be accomplished by rerouting some of the traffic. At this point in time, it is estimated that each year over 1 million hours are lost waiting in line for the Blackwall Tunnel. The economic impact of the slowdown is estimated to be 10 million pounds per year. Although there are not enough crossings that are adequate, East London only has one bus connection that travels over the Thames at this time. On the other hand, the Silvertown project will provide a bus lane that is exclusive for travel in either direction. As a consequence of the project, there will be a significant increase in the number of bus routes that go over the Thames in this area of London. It is anticipated that the present rate of bus crossings, which is 6 per hour, would increase to a rate of at least 40 buses per hour. The project will have a big positive effect on the air quality in the area by drastically reducing traffic, using access fees to encourage more environmentally friendly ways to get around, and making more public transportation available. Under the terms of the contract, Riverlinks is required to make big changes in the cities on both sides of the river. These changes will include making the public space better and getting more people to walk and ride bikes. The commercial and financial closure of the project was accomplished in 2019, and after that the building phase of the project had already begun. After that, the project will continue for a total of 25 years. Riverlinks is in charge of the project's upkeep and regular maintenance. TfL will not be paying for the project until after the tunnel has been completed and put into service, and this will reduce the company's financial risk associated with the project. The Silvertown Tunnel Project, which will link Silvertown and Greenwich, will go along a path that is in line with the alignments of the Emirates Airline Cable Car. Both tunnels are bored using a single tunnel boring machine, or TBM, which has a diameter of around 12 meters and is used to drill through various types of geology, such as alluvium, London Clay, and Lambeth. The TBM has already bored its first tunnel in Silvertown, and it will now go to North Greenwich for a rotation, and then make its way back to Silvertown to drill the second tunnel. In addition, there will be highway bridges as well as a footbridge for pedestrians as a part of the project. There will also be maintenance facilities and parts of an elevated road measuring 600 meters in length. The construction team as a whole will be responsible for digging out a total of 600,000 cubic meters and all of the material that can be moved by the river. This will help keep construction traffic from causing too much trouble in nearby neighborhoods and on nearby roads. It is anticipated that construction work will be finished in 2025, and it will be situated inside the ultra-low emission zone. The construction firm had already finished the first tunnel board by February 15, 2023, which is a significant achievement for the Silvertown Tunnel Plan. The tunnel boring machine, known as Jill, has arrived in Greenwich, 
Before beginning to dig the second tunnel bore in early summer of 2023, portions of it will be turned beforehand. Apart from that, about 275,000 tons of spoil from the tunnels has been delivered by barge, and substantial work has been done on the development of the two tunnel portal structures on both banks of the river. Aside from that, plans are being made for walking, biking, and landscaping improvements that will be made on each side of the tunnel's entrances. In addition, construction has also begun on a brand new pedestrian and bicycle bridge that will span the A102. This bridge, which will adhere to modern architectural standards and replace the current footbridge from the 1960s, will have a better lighting system. The new bridge's main span installation work is scheduled to begin in the spring of 2023. Until then, the current bridge will still be used. When it opens in 2025, the Silvertown Tunnel will essentially remove weights and lines at the Blackwell Tunnel, with trip times up to 20 minutes quicker. Also, the environmental effect of traffic congestion on some of London's most polluting roads would be reduced as a result of this measure. And last but not least, it would expand the availability of public transportation options for river crossings by establishing a network of zero-emission buses that would provide additional routes and improve access to a greater number of locations. And that's all for today's video about the Silvertown Tunnel. What do you think? Would it cater to the high traffic demands or not? Let us know your views in the comment section below. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next one, and until then, best of luck.